Ah. Okay, time to do some chemistry. And we've got a bonding and shape question here, so let's have a quick look at what we have. We have to draw the shape of AlCl4- and predict its bond angles. Okay, cool. So AlCl4-, a periodic table may be handy, so grab one of these, might help you uh, with drawing this. Um, and yeah, away you go. Have a quick draw, see what you can get, and then we'll go through the answers in a couple of seconds. Okay, it is answer time. So, aluminium, you would have seen from your periodic table, is in group number three. There we go, so group number three, and chlorine is in group number seven. Now, what does that mean? That means aluminium is gonna have three electrons on its outer shell, whereas each of these chlorines is gonna have seven on its outer shells, right? So what can we see? We can see that each chlorine wants one electron, uh, so these three chlorines can happily attach onto the aluminium and they will share, um, you know, two electrons. So we'll have this sort of scenario. So let's get aluminium drawn over here. And then we've got chlorine um, coming off the top here. And then another chlorine coming off here. And then another chlorine coming off there. And remember, as we said, they're going to share a pair of electrons. So there you go, you've got chlorine electron and an aluminium electron being shared between there. And so each of these chlorines then needs six more electrons uh, drawn onto them. So like that, one, two, three, four, five, and six. And then for this one as well, one, two, three, four, five, and six. Now at the moment, this is really, really happy, okay? Because we've got this aluminium and it's got one, two, three chlorines that are attached to it. And this is great. Um, so this at the moment is AlCl3, but we were supposed to draw AlCl4 minus, right? So what does this mean? Like, we've got to get this chlorine onto here somehow. But how do we get it onto there? Now, that chlorine actually is going to have to be a chlorine ion, okay? So what we'll need to do is give it uh, another electron. I'm going to give it this one here, a green one. And if it's got one more electron, that means it's a Cl minus ion. And so now what does it do? Because the, this aluminium here, it has no more electrons that it can share. Um, so what does this do? The chlorine actually gives both of its electrons to form a bond to the aluminium. So what is this called? This is called a dative covalent bond or um, a coordinate bond, as you might have heard as well, right? So we're gonna have pretty much exactly the same Thing. So let me just get this drawn out real quickly. There we go. So we'll have this, but we're going to have another chlorine now attached on. There it is. We'll pop that in there. And then um, in the middle, I'm going to put the green triangle. There we go. And one blue dot. So that's the two electrons that have come from that chlorine ion, chloride ion rather. That's now... Um, created a bond to the aluminium, and that's your dative covalent bond. And then we're gonna have one, two, three, four, and five, six on there now. And overall, this is gonna carry a minus charge. And there it is, there's your AlCl4 with a minus. What can you see? You can see that the aluminium here is your central ion, and how many electron pairs are around it? You've got four pairs around it in total. And if there are four pairs around it, then what do you got to say? You got to say that these bonding pairs are going to repel each other as far as possible, and then it leads to a tetrahedral shape. And in a tetrahedral arrangement, the bond angles are going to be 109.5 degrees. And so there we go. There's our shape. It's tetrahedral, and the bond angles 109.5. How did we get it? Well, we got it by drawing out, obviously, our dot and cross diagram and seeing how the chlorines are going to fit around the aluminium. That's one method, right? The other method you could do is call the VFEPR theory. So this here is actually really, really simple. And this is how it goes. Some of you may know it, some of you may not. I'll release a video on how to actually use this method properly, but here's just a quick, quick look through it. Now, on the aluminium atom, it's got three electrons. So I'm just going to put three electrons over here. Now, the chlorines 
each of them did what? Well, technically they supplied one electron each, right? Technically, we'll discuss that one afterwards. Uh, but for the time being, each of these chlorines that you can see around here gave one of its electrons, so you can see the blue dots there, uh, to the aluminium. So what's happened is they've contributed four electrons in total. But now, because we've also got a minus charge, so I'm gonna put a negative, because we've got that minus charge, what did it mean? It meant that there was actually one more electron popped in, which was that green triangle. So what we need to do is say that well, there was one more electron contributed to here. And now what we can do is get a total for this. So if you add all of this up, we've got three, four, and one. So in total, that's eight electrons. Now, what we're saying is there's eight electrons you know, around that central uh, aluminium atom. So what does that mean? That means there are four pairs. And therefore, if there are four pairs, that leads us back to being tetrahedral and having a bond angle of um, 109.5. So there we go. That's the VSEPR method. Um, avoids drawing any shapes and that kind of thing. Really, really good. Really handy if you know that. Okay, perfect. So there it is. First question done on uh, bonding and structure. Hopefully you've got that there and um, you know, hopefully you can use both methods to actually solve that problem. We'll be releasing a couple more of these uh, bonding videos, so stay tuned because bonding always comes up in, uh, in your A-level exams. So I uh, hope to see you in the next video very, very soon.